Hello, myself, Gyas, Attitude Trainer at SP Global Solution Branch Hyderabad. Today, I am just explaining the important concept and basic point of ratio and proportion. Today, I am explaining four points because a lot of students are requesting. It's an increase the number of tricks in the video. So, that's why I am explaining four questions of the ratio and proportion. It is very important with basic. You see, the first one is P ratio Q equal to 8 ratio 50 and Q ratio R equal to 3 ratio 2. Find the P ratio Q ratio. There are so many ways to solve this question, but simple and normal trick is what you see. Trick is that, that is we have to find P ratio Q ratio. So write first that is P, Q and R. Now what is P ratio Q? 8 ratio 50. So right here 8, this is 50. Now R is vacant near to 50. So in this point also write 50. Again Q ratio R is 3 ratio. So Q is 3 right here, Q 3 and R is 2 right here 2. Again this is vacant near to 3. So right here 3. Okay. So first point is what? P ratio Q ratio. P to 850, so write 8 and 15. This R is vacant, so write number near to R, that is 50. Again, P Q ratio R. Q is 3, R is 2. This point is vacant, it is near to 3, so write 3. Now multiply 8, 3 is 24, and 15, 3 is 45, and 15 to 30. So 24, 45 and 30. But if there is any common factor, then divide. Here you know 3 is a common factor. So divide it, 3 is 24 and this is 50 and this is 10. So correct answer is what? 8 ratio 50 ratio 10. This is the correct answer. In the same way, suppose in the second question, there is a 2 ratio here 3. P ratio, Q ratio, R is given, 1 ratio, 2 ratio. And Q ratio, R ratio is given, 4 ratio, 5 ratio, 6. We have to find P ratio, Q ratio, R ratio. Again, the process is same. P to R is we have to find. So, P to R is what? 1, 2, 3. So, right here, 1 and Q, 2 and R is 3. Again, S is vacant and it is near to R. So, right here, 3. Okay? Now, same process, Q, R, S. Q, R, S is 4, 5, 6. So, right here, 4. Again, here, 5. And here, 6. Now, this is the vacant and it is near to 4. So, right here, 4. Now, process is 4, 4, 4, 2, 8, 5, 3, 15. This is here. Okay? So now 4, 8, 15 and 18. You are seeing that there is not any common factor in all these four. That's why this is the final answer. P ratio, Q ratio, R ratio is what? 4 ratio, 8 ratio, 15 ratio, 18. If the question is what about P ratio S? Suppose P ratio S. So P is what? 4. And S is what? 6. So 4 ratios. Again, common factor 2. So 2 to the 4, 2 to the 3. So your answer is what? 2 ratio 3 for P ratio S. In the same way, third question. So third question is what? If A by 2, B upon 3 and C by 5 are equal, then we have to find A ratio, B ratios. Very simple point is that that is A by 2, B by 3 and C by 5. So your answer will be what? That is A ratio, B ratio C. So A by 2, both are, all the things are equal. Suppose this equal to K, then A equal to, suppose this is uh, A by 2 and B upon 3 and C by 5 equal to K. Then A equal to what? That is 2K. And B equal to what? That is 3K. And C equal to what? That is 5K. Okay. So we have to find A ratio, B ratio. 
So A is what? 2K and B is what? 3K and C is what? 5K. Now this K K cancel. Your answer is correct. 2, 3, 5. So in this type of question, no need to this. This is only for concept. You can write direct A by 2, B by 3, C by 5 is equal. Then A ratio, B ratio, C is what? Only 2 ratio, 3 ratio, 5. This is correct answer. Now the fourth question. Fourth question is what? A ratio, B ratio, C equal to half ratio 5 by 3 ratio half. Convert the ratio in P by Q form where Q is 1. So this is given for only for confusion that is P by Q form. That means we have to convert this fraction ratio into a simple ratio that is the form of P by Q but Q that is denominator should be 1. So for this type of question, you find LCM of denominator. So LCM of what? That is 2, 3, 2. So LCM of denominator 2 is denominator 3 denominator 2. So LCM of denominator 2, 3, 2, you know well, that is 6. So multiply the each ratio by LCM. So 1 by 2 into 6 and 5 by 3 into 6 and 1 by 2 into 6. So 2, 3 is 6, 3, 2 is 6 and 2, 3 is 6. So your answer is what? 3 ratio, 10 ratio 3. So 2 into 3, 3 and 3 into 6, 10 and this is half into half into 6 that is 3. So here 1 by 2, 5 by 3 half and same 6. So multiply each ratio by 6. So half into 6 that is 3. 5 by 3 into 6 that is 10. Again this is half. So half into 6 is 3. So your required ratio is what? 3 ratio, 10 ratio 3. This is the form of P by Q. We call 3 by 1, N by 1, 3 by 1. And Q is here 1. So this is the correct one. So in this way you have seen these four questions and these are the tricky and basic also. The first there is a 2 ratio, second one there is a 3 ratio and third one if the numbers are given in the upon. Then you have to find ABC and third one in fraction and how can you find in a simple way. So I think you have understood well. Thank you.